What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming to you guys again with another video. This is the 28th of March today, Saturday. Today's a big day for me. As some of you may know, I'm making my Major League Eating debut today at the Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Pie Eating Contest. And guys, it's going to be a good one. I'm uh, going to be facing Joy Chestnut, uh, Mickey Sudo, and a few other notable uh, world-class eaters. Very excited, very, um, very nervous, but uh, this is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. Whether I win or lose, this is really uh, just for the experience and for the, uh, the knowledge that I need to, uh, to go further in this. And I just want to make a quick shout out to everybody that supported me along the way that's uh, encouraged me to keep going in this. I've been through a lot in terms of uh, you know the past few years and everything like that. So uh, definitely figured out that this is something I love and one of my hobbies. And I, you know, again, shout out to you know RZ Fitness out there, big YouTube. Uh, channel go over there and subscribe to that guy's videos. Raphael is awesome. Raphael, uh, Randy Santel over foodchallenges.com, uh, Matthew Cohen, Matthew Sweet Tooth Cohen, uh, one of the nicest guys I've met. Shout out to Mickey Sudo for being so encouraging. Um, anybody else I'm missing, uh, shout out to you guys as well. But uh, I'm looking to kill it today, guys. So, like I said, whether I win or lose, it's all about going up there and having fun and uh, kicking some ass. So, let's get, let's get going, guys. Either are you ready? No. Joey Chestnut is not ready. Come on, Joey. Well, he's at a considerable disadvantage. He comes out last. Now, are, they're very, they're very finicky. They're like French pastry chefs. Everything's got to be. Don't let me get lazy. Joey's addressing the crowd. Now, what Joey said is, "Don't let me get lazy." Do we have any psychologists in the audience? Anyone working in mental health? Wait, Joey responds very well to negative reinforcement. Or as, or, as, or as we used to call it in the 20th century, parenting. So yell at him. But just keep it, keep it PG. We don't love you, exactly. We don't love you. Eaters, are you ready? EMT's on deck, we're ready. People of Knott's Berry Farm, you in? I said! I said! Are you ready? Well, if you are ready, you will join me in the time honored tradition of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, What is going on everybody, Eric the Electric coming to you guys with a little commentary from today's first MLE eating contest competition at Knott's Berry Farm. Just want to say that I had an amazing time here with everybody else, had an amazing experience, got to meet a lot of cool people. 
Um, I guess I'll just start things off by saying that this is uh, definitely an interesting and unique contest in and of itself. Um, eight minutes to eat as much pie as you possibly can. Um, you guys are noticing right now that there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of debris, a lot of um, you know berries being thrown around. Um, this is something I've never had boysenberry pie before, never had anything like it, and um, was not really sure what I should expect to. And also keep in mind this is my second contest I've ever actually done. So, um, gonna be, or I should say I was up against the best eaters in the world, obviously Joey Chestnut, Mickey Sudo, um, everybody else as well. And uh, so it was definitely a definitely experience. Um, you can see right there, we were segregated at the end of the table, the guys that weren't um, listed with the MLE, we started with four plates and um, everybody else had three plates in front of them, um, I should say. We had four plates at the end of the table with two pies on each plate, and then everybody else had six plates with two pieces of pie. So it was kind of like, okay, well, whatever. But you know, uh, ended up getting getting that getting that pie down after finishing my original plates, which was nice. But anyways, um, you know, it's uh, it's kind of a hit or miss here. You know, this is uh, I ended up doing ten pounds um, in total, but um, due to the debris that I did leave. I was deducted a pound and a half, so you know it's it's kind of a it's a judgment call. So you know you don't really know how much you're actually going to be taking in and um, how much is actually going to count, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm not going to offer my thoughts or my opinions on that because that's all a judgment call again. Nothing I can do about that, but just give it my all. But um, you know, I came into it with high expectations, so I will say I'm pretty disappointed in being uh, place sixth because I was so close to that um, fifth place mark and I would have you know been in that bracket so you know that half pound or you know whatever it was that I guess I was a half pound away from um, being uh, placed in the bracket so the, the judgment call at the very end was kind of what placed me out of the bracket which is what makes me so disappointed but you know regardless like I said you know Sam's an awesome guy everybody's awesome I really enjoyed the time with everybody and enjoyed the experience and I hope to uh, do more contests in the future so um, yeah other than that it was awesome and uh, look forward to more in the future like I said so anyways guys keep watching the video and uh, feel free to give it a like comment and subscribe peace out guys
Did you see those finger paintings? They were just. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know you are stunned and amazed by what you have witnessed. I'm going to ask for a brief pause in the program while I tally the results. Pies the ignorance. Deal with that now.